the night country. It takes us one. After landing a role on the buzzy new season of True Detective, Joel de Montgran is having a great year. Being indigenous uh, where I grew up, I never dreamed that I would ever get to be an actor because you had to move to be in place. But his big break started with a self-tape and then a virtual audition with his soon-to-be co-star. She just goes, okay, cut, yep, that was great, bye. You know, and then I was like, well, I guess I didn't get that. <laughs> the next thing I knew, I was uh, on a plane. <laughs> Gone are the days of in-person auditions. Instead, all you need are lights and a camera or a phone. I used to at least get really nervous in auditions, so self-tapes allow me to take that out of the equation and focus that adrenaline on the work. It's all the parents and grandparents. Veteran casting director Deidre Bowen has embraced the change. I can see a lot more auditions because I don't have to have people lined up out there. So you have a bigger net. I have a much bigger net. Then I'll make an adjustment and then do it again. With the bigger net come bigger asks. They'll be like, oh, you're coming out of a car and there's a person walking towards you and they're a stranger. Now do it on your couch. In an industry where most earn $10,000 per year on average, the head of Canada's Actors Union says performers have become unpaid filmmakers. It was a lot of money out of our pockets that we were never compensated for. Now the unions are pushing back, limiting the number of pages and mandating more preparation time for actors. Still, many actors say self-tapes open doors. Auditions have skyrocketed. You're not beholden to, to waiting around for auditions, being afraid of, of even going back home to the res if you do live in a city. Changing who gets seen and who makes it on our screens. Eli Glaster, CBC News, Toronto.